Hello viewers and welcome back to Decidedly Neapolitan. I started here on the main menu because I wanted to show you some changes I made. And actually, I think... I'm thinking of also modifying these buttons, but that's something I'll do at a later time. <laughs> uh, I just... Yeah, it took me a while to actually get this set up and working the way I want. I really like the way it looks. Uh, and here's our little icon. I actually need to update this too. I've made a cleaner version. But uh, stuff that you as the, the viewer doesn't normally get to see. Uh, but the people using the mod pack, the other people on the server get to look at. I just, I wanted to show it off. I haven't pushed this as an update out to them yet. Because uh, like I said, I might do a few more tweaks, a few more changes. But I really like the way it looks. And normally, <laughs> I don't start recording while it's still loading in because you see it goes a little, a little slow, a little choppy. Um, but since you saw the launcher, I guess you'll see what it usually looks like uh, when I first log in. Uh, so I've added a few client-side stuff. We have inventory tweaks, which actually I don't generally like because I don't like the auto-refill. I don't like accidentally middle-clicking. Um, just going to turn all this off for now. I do like when you're in an inventory, you can have it auto sort, which I think I I just disabled. No, I didn't. And I just messed up my inventory here, but whatever. That, that I do like. That's one thing I do like, but I don't like when it's like automatically switching out tools and blocks and uh, that just feels a little too automated for me personally. So let's talk about what I've done so far. We are still in the hunter's hovel i don't like this as a place to be and there's one real reason and the reason is we are here in a slime chunk and i will be in here for a matter of a few minutes and i'll hear and it'll be some stupid slime over here trying to jump discovered that i'm <laughs> close enough and it's trying to get me and they can't but the sound, the sound is just like, oh. So when you last saw, it was just this, right? Uh, I filled this out. I don't think you saw this. I'm certain you didn't. So I have a lot more space up here. I've messed with some of the decorated fences. Here we have our bed. We still use this to get out on the roof. Uh, of which I guess I'll show you so I'm not just wandering back and forth multiple times. I have a single, single solar panel. It can only store two EU at a time, and it can only output one. What we want to do is we want to get these other solar panels. Low voltage, for example, it's going to take a transformer, and it's going to take eight of these solar panels. But then it's going to, does it say here? doesn't say here what it does but basically it's going to be the efficiency of eight of these in one block and then this one will take eight of these and etc so rather than having to have an entire yeah i see ya an entire field <laughs> of these you can just have a few but you still have to have the investment of making them Solar panels, I really, I really like because it's, it's constant energy. With a generator, you can put stuff in here and it'll generate. Uh, but with a solar panel, it's just automatic. And I like that automaticness. We only have one bat box. Okay, so in addition to the changes to up here, we also have a downstairs and I started swapping it out with this this is a chiseled cobblestone which do I have any more of yeah I have a little bit so that's what I was working on when I finished playing last time I was gonna try to have it all done so I could come in and just show you the end result oh my gosh my inventory is full too <laughs> But I'm going to get that. I don't have a chest down here, so I can't pick those up. But I will pick them up. Don't worry. Actually, do I have anything I don't want? Yes, I have stuff I don't need. So I made a safe. And in the safe, we have a lot of goodies. 
That's where all my goodies are. There. Now it's not just hanging out. And I made a few machines. Got a macerator, an electric furnace, and an extractor. An extractor is important because it gives us another way to get rubber. And we need lots of rubber because you need that to make cables and cords and wires and whatever they called. No, they're called cables. The furnace is nice because it's going to smelt stuff without coal. It's only going to use the exact amount that it needs. I don't know if it's more efficient or not. The macerator is good for stuff like the uranium because it will double it. But right now, the stuff that it's going to give us, the uranium ore or the dust, we can't actually do anything with. We need some much more advanced machines. What is this? Solar distiller. I, I don't know what this is or what it does. Uh, and many people mentioned, oh, actually to power this, you wanna do this, you wanna do that, you wanna do the other. Uh, I did find an electric engine. So this will take the, the, what is this, EU, and it will turn it into, I think, is it Michael Jackson or is it Redstone Flux? I think it's RF, Redstone Flux and we'll power this. Now this is horribly inefficient from what I understand. So it's much better to just give it RF. But uh, for our purposes, I think it's fine. Like I said, I love the solar panels. So if I could just build that up to the point where it doesn't matter, then I just spend the, the energy, the electricity and give it lots of bat boxes so it can all just store and save up, then we'll be fine. So here is a work table, and this is very helpful because it lets you memorize recipes. Right now I have all these locked into place. So if I were to unlock this and craft something different, something that's not over here, it would replace this. If I lock it, these six are going to be locked in. And it doesn't really do anything automatically. If I click this, it's going to load the recipe for that item. And if I have what I need down here for it, then I can take it. And I can't take it right now because I don't have the iron down here. So here is copper, copper, and the hammer. Now this one only has one use left, so I'm going to take that. And you'd think it would... Okay. Use this left zero. Got it. So let me make it, and now I don't have any way to make any work because my hammer's broken so now i can make a new hammer and that's funny that that shows not a healed hammer let me look at this yes because it's remembering the hammer that i used to make this recipe when i originally made it that's funny so that's been helping me make stuff a lot more efficiently and quicker um but a lot of the Further machines are going to require more parts, uh, which typically include a lot of lapis and redstone, which I, I'm not overflowing with. But there's something else that I wanted to take a look at today. Uh, my son Joe has this amazing amazing enchanting setup but it's not something i want to use just yet because it's kind of with it i could practically get anything i wanted and i just i don't want to do that yet uh meanwhile jefferson is over in his base actually wherever it is i think it's this direction struggling to enchant books to get just the right thing that he wants i think and I'm not sure, but we're going to do this together today. I think with Bibliocraft, we can make something that will let us copy enchanted books. So let's pop over to, I'm going to call Joe Leviticus Blue. He changed his name, so I'll probably call him Leviticus for short, or maybe just Blue. I think just Blue. Let's pop over to Blue's place. It reminds me of Blue's Clues. <laughs> And there I will show you the setup he has so you can see something that we eventually may get. Now, where are my bulls? 
and through the power of video editing, I am here. Now don't be overwhelmed. This place is kind of overwhelming. <laughs> oh boy, let's get to the magic section. Somewhere up here should be. Oh yes. Now this is the Osmotic Enchanter. And on here is a wand, a crazy wand that has, oh my gosh, a thousand capacity? Is that per? Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's creepy. So we put an item in here and it shows the enchantments that we can do. So we could do efficiency. We can do efficiency up to five. And that's going to change the cost. And we can do unbreaking. And that we can do up to three. So it's, it's all legitimate enchantments. And we can make it silk touch. There's the cost. It, it's just, it's, oh my gosh. Start enchanting. And it fills it up from the wand. And it's very scary sounding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so scary sounding. And it's done. That is amazing. Now this wand, we've just drained a lot of stuff from it. Well, we have this energized aura node and I, I lost my goggles, so I can't show you what it gives. But it should be, maybe it's not this one. No, he's got the setup differently than I'm than I know. Okay, so this one. Yeah, well, let's just. You take this out, you put this on there. Can I? There we go. Now it's the numbers are flipping out, but it, that's because it's recharging, and it's recharging from aspects that are on this, and it doesn't matter how much this takes this will never run out because of this block and this block the stabilizer and the transducer so this will slowly fill up with any base aspect that that has i think that node doesn't have all the base aspects required can you go in there i think i'm just getting some lag or something it's a scepter there we go. Yep, and now this one is getting regenerated from somewhere. I'm not quite seeing the line. Looks like it's going back and forth, but it is reaching this crystal. All right, very cool. On to our next stop. Okay, let's go back down to the Besamante, and you will see, oh, wow, that's fancy. Look at that floor. Oh man, so nice. I just, I can't even believe. I need I need a garbage disposal. Uh, there was once a mod that let you make a trash can. Is there such a thing? Am I showing everything? Yeah, no, I guess not. Okay, well. Ignoring that, uh, the thing I wanted to show you. I enchanted some books, and I'm at level 41. Let's hide this, and I will show you uh, how I was able to do that shortly, and it's all thanks to Sean. So we're gonna make a few things. We're gonna make some print press chase. I'll make a few. And then we're gonna use one of these to complete this recipe, which is actually a type setting table. We're going to need this. And on this typesetting table, we will set our chases. I think that's what you call them. And we put, oh, I need, I need something to see. This is a monocle. So we will temporarily wear this. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. F5, where's F5? Hello, good sirs. Oh, very distinguished. Okay, sorry. So now when we look at these, 
we can uh, see the different things. So select a book. Nice. So I have Feather Falling 2. Uh, select a book. I want type setting about book management. Is there a way that I can... I'm confused by the fact that it says select a book. I feel like this should be able to hold books. But I don't see a way to make it hold books. Okay, so instead of being distracted by some new feature, we... I enchanted these books. I Feather Falling 2, Efficiency 1, and Wrecking 1. Okay, so let's take Wrecking 1. Wrecking 1 is actually an enchantment for crowbars. Makes them do more damage. <laughs> I wonder how high of a level this can go. So you put the book there. Okay? And you see it says requires 16 levels. So if I shift and right click, we now have an enchanted plate of Wrecking 1. If we wanted to do Feather Falling 2, that's going to require 24 levels, and we'll make that one. Okay, now, what can we do with these enchanted plates? We can use them to print more books with... I'm missing something. What did I need? I needed something... Okay, let's look it up. I wanted to remember for you. Is it a... It's a press? Yes, it's a press. It's a printing press. Oh, it needs a blaze rod. That's right. And I thought I had a blaze rod. And I don't know that I do. So I'm going to have to go look through all my stuff and find it. And if not, I'm going to have to go get one. Okay, I got a blaze rod. I actually borrowed it from Sean. He's online. I asked him, do you have a blaze rod I can borrow? He didn't answer, so <laughs> I'll pay him back. I'm sure he doesn't mind. So now, actually, let's hide that interface. We take the printing press, and this is cool because, bam, like an anvil. These blocks... Uh, they don't feel as Minecrafty as they could. That's not really a term, I understand, but but I do like them. They are fun. Okay, so we're going to take our wrecking one. We're gonna put it somewhere. I gotta click just the right spot. Okay, I finally got it. There. Got to click just the right spot. Wrecking one. And then we're going to put the ink sacks. I only have three right now. They go there. Okay, now we got three ink. Wrecking one. Now we need some books. So we'll just put a stack there. And you can barely see the text that says 20 books. So it's going to work. It's going to use one ink, and it's going to uh, slightly damage this enchanted plate. So depending on what it is, I think, as soon as I take this, it'll go back to work. Depending on what this is, we can make three to four, three to four copies. But actually, what we could do now, we have two wreckings. So now I could use an anvil. Let's see if I remember how to make an anvil. I need some regular iron. And then we need, a, it's, it's a strong top, right? And a not as strong, yeah, there we go. And there's probably better anvils I can make too. And then we could take wrecking one, wrecking one, and we could get wrecking two. Now that we have Wrecking 2, for 19 levels, we can make that. And then we could print two of them. Oh yeah, see, that enchanted plate is broken. So I actually shouldn't have made three. 
but to prevent from making three, I would have had to take out that plate, then remove that. But really, the only cost was the plate and this. However, there's something you should be aware of. These enchanted plates can actually be repaired with uh, an item from Thomic Tinker, I believe. But it's like high-level stuff. Uh, my son, which I will refer to as Blue, he has such a device at his base. He has to select a book. I feel like I should be able to put books there, and I want to just because it would look cool. But anyway, this thing right here really deserves its own building. So that's going to be added to the project list. We're going to need a building for uh, book stuff, like a, a printing press type area. Not quite a library, uh, maybe some kind of bookstore, something along those lines. So that's exciting. So that's what I'm going to work on between now and next episode. We need to think of what kind of building we would want for that sort of thing. And I have a very basic structure for my magic stuff. But I want to actually work on it in creative and remake it as a schematic. It is based on something I downloaded from Planet Minecraft. Um, but it's not quite how I want it. So I'll fix it in creative and then save a schematic. And that way I can just build it the way I want it to be built right off the bat. So before, before we call this an episode, I wanna show you where I got the experience. Right here. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. So we have this blood farm. Up is for experience, down is for blood. I haven't seen the redstone for how this works. I wish Sean would go ahead and just make, oh my gosh, it's a blood channel. I wish he would just go ahead and make some videos. Like, come on, Sean, like 10 minutes, 10 minutes once a week, just explaining what you did. Like, oh, I did this and then it'd be super easy and you'd be helping out four-sided ball. Come on, I think it's time you start pulling some more weight because no, I don't know. You probably do. I just... <laughs> I want more content of the server. I think it'd be fun. But yeah, so you just stand here and gather the experience. And it's amazing. They fall in here, and this is some bad, bad juju. And it kills them. And they die. And this thing just fills up like crazy. This is a vacuum hopper. It's a really cool item. It will actually... It's recycling this so this stuff's not actually getting wasted i kind of thought it was but sean explained to me no it takes it in and if you look at this it's actually got it's got a little tunnel over here for the experience and it also picks up any items that get dropped and puts it in here and here as you can see there's a lot of stuff and this is just from two spawners it's pretty crazy. You can do some crazy things with mods. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, uh, getting the books you want is simply a matter of uh, uh, some fine research and uh, I don't know. What voice am I trying to do there? I'm trying to sound distinguished and rich. <laughs> Neither of which I, I am. So pardon me while I pretend. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next video. Have a great day.